Our modelling suggests that male 100 metre Olympic sprinters have been getting faster over the years. How accurate might be our prediction of the winning time in the 2072 final? When we conduct an experiment, we try to measure the effect of change to one variable with all other factors remaining constant or controlled. The data collected under controlled conditions can be used to build a model and make predictions. However, the times for the 100 meter race are not collected under controlled conditions. Predictions made using this data should be questioned. We can see that the times are faster. Should we ask some questions like, is the only variable that the athletes themselves are becoming faster? Or are there other variables contributing such as improvements in equipment or both? The faster times could be attributed to advances in technology such as the availability of lightweight shoes. How has the track surface changed over time? The 1896 games had no official track and the athletes ran in grass lanes separated only by ropes. The materials used to make modern tracks use shock absorption and reaction in a straight line to produce rebound energy. Timing equipment has progressed from handheld stopwatches to electronic devices leading to greater accuracy. As you can see, without knowing how the data is measured, it is very difficult to make accurate predictions. Here are some questions for you to consider. Is the data collected from different Olympic Games comparable? What variables have been controlled throughout the history of the event? What are some of the variables other than athletic ability that could lead to variation in winning times over the period? In our next video, we will look at two variables that can have a significant effect on the time recorded for this event.